When you load up a web page, somehow the browser takes a piece of HTML text and it creates the two-dimensional image that appears in your browser window. But what are HTML and the image on the screen made of? Well, this HTML over here is just a piece of text. It's made of letters and numbers and punctuation marks and spaces. Some of that text spells out HTML tags. Other text makes up the content of the page, like the word apple here. But this browser window, that's a visual image, a two-dimensional picture made of pixels on your screen, it could have text in it or images, video, or other things. There are things in HTML source code that don't show up on the screen, like the literal text of these tags. And there are things that show up on the screen that don't literally appear in the HTML, like the number 2 here. It turns out that this is a little easier to understand if we look at this intermediate step. The browser reads the HTML, and it turns it into something here. And then it turns that something into the view that we see on the screen. And when we make a style change to the page, that doesn't change the structure of the HTML source code, but it does change the appearance. That means the style is getting mixed in with this thing here. This something is a data structure. It's a sort of organized map of what's going to end up on the page. It's also what developer tools lets us look at. When the browser reads the HTML source, it builds up a map in the computer's memory of what all the elements are that it will need to put on the screen. This map shows which elements are nested inside which other elements. Doing this step first makes it much more practical to lay out the elements on the screen. It's kind of like making an outline of the page. This kind of structure is called a tree structure because each element can have branches coming out of it to other elements. For each element, there will be branches going to the elements that are nested inside of it, like these li, or list items, inside the ol, or ordered list, all the way down to the individual pieces of text that occur inside the list. The particular tree structure that the browser builds out of HTML is called the DOM, or Document Object Model. The DOM has a tree structure for each HTML element, and for each piece of text and image and other object inside the web page.